There's so much bad information out there. It's mind blowing. So many myths, so many dangers. That's why I'm saying, don't just watch the video and do it. Ask your doctor. I am not your doctor. Coach Greg, and today I am going to explain the best beginner cycle to get that beach body slash movie star shredded kind of appearance, okay? This is completely different than say just a beginner cycle where you're trying to bulk up or look massive. So the goal of this is you wanna look shredded for the beach or something. You wanna be cut sub 10%, you know, six pack abs and that kind of thing. I'm gonna explain in detail everything there is to know about this. I'm gonna try to keep it short so it doesn't go like 20 minutes long. So if I don't get in everything, it's because I'm not trying to go 20 minutes long. I'm not a doctor, I'm not your doctor. I'm not advising you to do any of the stuff I discuss. This is purely for entertainment only and is something that I would do in a legal country where it's legal or you could go talk to your own doctor hrt clinic and see if they can set you up or tell you how to do this okay so don't break the law do not ever break the law don't let me hear you breaking the law this is not about breaking the law do not break the law okay first what is a beginner Okay, so in terms of the anabolics, a beginner to me is somebody who's only done one to three cycles. So they're in their first two years of, say, doing anabolics, okay? Whether it's SARMs, that counts. You're not mad if you do SARMs. Don't even try to tell me. Anything like that, you're a beginner. So what is the difference between this and more of like a beginner, regular beginner cycle? Okay, so in this, we're trying to control estrogen, we're trying to have no water retention, and we're trying to make gains in muscle size, but without gaining any body fat whatsoever. We don't need a calorie surplus, we can do this in a deficit, which you would want to do, because 95% of you are not going to be beach body ready right now and then doing a cycle, okay? So you need to follow this plan while in a calorie deficit, you know, assuming it's legal in your country. All right. So who are some people that I'm thinking of that would look like this? Brad Pitt in Fight Club, where he fights himself. Shredded, ripped, big, no, no real size, but shredded. Zac Efron, Baywatch, another perfect, perfect example of a guy that would do something like this to look just shredded, okay? That's the kind of look I'm talking about when I talk about this. All right, so as a base, Test E or SIP, some kind of a longer ester test. Don't want to have to do shots every single day, every other day. That just becomes totally annoying. So with the longer ester like ENT or SIP, you don't have to do shots all the time. How often? Every five days. That's going to be often enough to have stable enough blood levels of the anabolics you're injecting that you won't have all these highs and lows, okay? If you stretch it out to a week, you might be able to get away with it, but you will experience a little bit of a, a peak in your test levels and a little bit of a drop. So every five days should be fine, you know? This is for beginners. They don't wanna to have to be poking themselves every other day. So avoid things like prop or sus or short esters, okay? So what amount I would like to see in the range of 100 to 200 mg's per week that is not a lot you're like what that's so low it's essentially an hrt dose how are we going to do that well if you use test 250 and it's dosed at 250 you're going to do somewhere between 0.3 and 0.5 mls a week the reason i'm saying this is because 90 percent of people that i talk to aren't smart enough to convert math use math enough to be able to say, well, how much do I do? They'll be like, oh, I just did 0.5, I did one mil, I did two, and I'm like, well, how much per week? I don't know, I did it every three days. Well, how much does it work? They don't know how to do it. So if you do 0.3 to 0.5, you're gonna be in that range doing it every five days. So if you did 0.3, it's gonna be like 105 a week, it'll work out to. 0.4, it'll be 140 a week, and 0.5, 
you know, around 185. So what do we combine that with? We're only doing a small amount of tests here. That's just HRT, okay? Just basics, okay? So this could be by anybody. Maybe this applies to somebody who's on HRT already and they want to maximize their gains. They've been on HRT for say eight or nine months. Summer's approaching. They want to do like a blast and they want to increase the results and get shredded for the beach, wedding, vacation, trip down south, movie role, you name it. Okay, movie actor, get hired. They want to like do a, a, their, a beach mod on the beach. They got three months to get in shape. Well, here you go. Now remind, this is for like beginners. This is not advanced. This is not getting into the hardcore stuff. So it's not gonna be like, oh my God, that's such a big thing to do. No. So what else do we combine this? You choose Prima Bolin or Masterone. Either or, it doesn't matter. Primo Bolin's gonna be way more expensive and more often fake. Masterone's gonna do the same thing. Primo's slightly healthier. Masterone's still very good. Why these two? Because they don't convert to estrogen. So you are not gonna need an aromatase inhibitor. That means you won't need Arimidex, which is an astrozole. You won't need Femra, which is letrozole. You won't need Serms, Sarms. You won't need Arimidex, Nova, Clomid. You do not need to worry about estrogen Okay, so just it just keeps it really simple. You just have basic amounts of test. We already said how much. And we're gonna add four to 600 milligrams of Primo or, or Mast a week. Is that a lot? No. How strong is Primo or Mast compared to test? It's about two thirds as strong. So if you did 600 milligrams of Primo, it's only gonna produce about the same amount of muscle growth as 400 milligrams of test. So we're keeping this up a bit, a bit higher because we want more growth, okay? So we're obviously going higher on the master primo than the test because we don't want any estrogen conversion. And that is going to give you lean, dry, quality muscle. So what you gain is muscle. You might only gain five to eight pounds in this, but it's all gonna look amazing. It's not gonna be a moon face D-ball, no. It's gonna be Beach body ready quality muscle that you're more likely to keep after you get off anyway. So how much do you do of the master primo? Well, it's usually dose 200 milligrams per mil and you're gonna do the long ester. You don't wanna have to do shots every other day. So 1.5 to two mils of the master primo every five days to go along with this, okay? So if you do 1.5 mils, it's gonna to equal to 400, like 420 milligrams in a week. If you do the two mils, it's gonna work out to around 560 milligrams a week. So somewhere around that range. So if you combine the two, you're gonna be doing somewhere around two mil, maybe two and a half mil shots to give you your total weekly dose. Where should you do it? Upper right quadrant on the glute or upper left quadrant on your other glute. So the glute on the side and up. So a quadrant is you divide something into four, okay? So like picture this. So this part is the upper outer side on the left glute and this side is the upper on the other glute side. Hopefully that makes sense. To the side. There or there, this makes sense, right there. Now why, why not in your bicep? Well, who wants to shoot two and a half cc's in your butt? You're not gonna want, and it's a lot to put in the delt, okay? The glute is made to, it can use a lot. Um, a lot of nurses and doctors will suggest the vastus lateralis on the quadricep. That's what my endocrinologist suggested in the nurse that showed me how to do a shot. I'd only done a thousand before, don't tell them. Um, that's where they showed, I hate it. If you ever get like swelling or anything, it makes it very difficult to walk around. You get like a peg leg, it's annoying. The glute is the better spot. That's just my opinion. Ask your own doctor, don't listen to me. I'm a moron. Anyone that does this stuff is a moron, unless your doctor makes you do it, or not makes you, but tells you to do it, okay? Remember, this is not medical advice. Zero medical advice. All right. What are we gonna add to this? We're gonna add an oral and we're gonna do the oral the entire time and how long are the, is the cycle gonna be? We're gonna do it for about 12 to 16 weeks at most. Why not eight? Cause I wanna get bigger than eight weeks will give me. Boom, that's why not eight. You can do eight, but then you have to front load and then this gets more confusing and I'm not gonna go there cause we're trying to keep it short. 
All right, what are we gonna add? Anavar, var, we are doing anavar. That's what I would do, that's my favorite. Why? Because it's gonna free up more testosterone, so some of the test that you're using is gonna be more available for use. It's gonna to add to the strength of the cycle. You're gonna get better pumps. You're gonna have more strength. It's gonna make you less hungry. So many different side effects, just the orals often decrease or suppress appetite. That's gonna make it easier to diet on. So that's one thing I notice when taking orals um, on a diet, I find that I can sustain a diet with lower calories more easily because my stomach is just a little bit more unsettled. Some people will complain and they'll say, oh, I get diarrhea and certain things. You're usually using high doses. Guess how much the dose I'm recommending is here? 20 milligrams. Why? It's liver toxic. Okay, so that means it can damage the liver to do anavar. It would be similar to drinking one beer a day, one anavar. Why don't you do 60? Well, that would be like drinking three beer every single day for three to four months. That's a lot of beer. Now, let's say it maybe your, your liver isn't the best. You don't want to damage it or tax it, okay? I'm ignoring her. She's going to be pissed. Don't tell her. So... 20 milligrams a day, you're gonna have that boost. You can do it the entire time. We're not gonna front load and do it at the end or at the start. My way of thought is it's better to do less for a long time than to do a ton for a short time and then none later. I'm more into that. Same as for HRT. I'd rather somebody do the maximum amount that their doctors allow for the entire 12 months or years than to do this I'm going to do a thousand for three months and then do a hundred for three months and then do a thousand back and forth. I believe it'd be better to do 250 the entire time and sustain. Then you'll look good all the time rather than have like a freaky look and then a bad look. So what we're doing here is like, it's for a freaky look. So I wouldn't suggest you do this all the time because even though this is a safer cycle, it's not safe. It's for sure some of the side effects. You're going to, without question, I don't care who you are, lower your HDL, which is good cholesterol. It's going to happen for sure. There's going to be some effect on your liver. So if you did blood work, you're going to see ASL, AST. They're going to be elevated. How much? It depends. I have so many clients some hardly any some a whole lot and it's like they have to stop and they have doctor supervision and we're watching i'm going over the blood work that the doctors gave them and so i'm able to see this information and i'm able to say holy cow this is crazy okay so things can happen you might have higher blood pressure not by much not likely less likely than certainly most cycles usually higher blood pressure comes from more cycles that increase water retention so if you add a d ball anadrol you know a lot of testosterone, anything, DECA, anything that makes you gain like the 20 pounds, like, but it's not even all muscle, it's mostly water. You have a small amount of test, a larger amount of masterone or primo, but not in a crazy high dose. And a little bit of Anavar, I would take it in the morning. We don't need an AI and that's it, okay? That's the only thing you need for anabolics. Now, what else can you add? Fat burners, GW5015, SR9009. I'm not going to get into all that. This is just the cycle. This is, it, it would be 30 minute video. If you want to see those, you can go and check out my other videos on fat burners, SARMs, GW. You can just type them in and learn for yourself on your own, whatever you need to know. Now, what else is this going to do? It's going to suppress your natural t testosterone production for sure. For sure, without question, you will need a PCT. Unless you're an HRT, then you just stop this and you just continue on with your HRT, which is the testosterone part. You continue that forever. You may or may not want to continue the VAR to go with it. And you will not need an anti-estrogen. And if you do need an anti-estrogen, then you are so estrogen sensitive that you should even lower your test dose. HRT should not require anti-estrogens. You're replacing the test that your body makes. If you're giving it too much test, too much estrogen will be, will be converted, okay? Will be converted to estrogen. We don't want that. So keep your test levels low enough so that you don't get high estrogen levels, which can cause gyno, but it also causes other side effects. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't have any estrogen problem. I don't have gyno. There's other things other than gyno, okay? There's other things. And we're not going to get into all that. It takes too long. So what do we do for a PCT? I always like Nova the best. 
and HCG. You can add tryptorelin, which is a peptide. You can do them in different ways and so on. You could use Clomid instead of Nova. I have PCT videos on the internet. So Google PCT, what did one called? How to do a proper post cycle PCT. You can type that and learn. I don't need to explain it in 17 minute videos here, okay? So subscribe and click the bell button and pray this video doesn't get me banned or demonetized or all that great stuff. There's not much money when you make a video about topics that people don't want to talk about, but let's get real. People are doing these things and if no one talks about it, people are going to be worse off because there's so much bad information out there. It's mind blowing. So many myths, so many dangers. That's why I'm saying, don't just watch the video and do it. Ask your doctor. I am not your doctor. I'm not even a doctor. No, I wear shirts saying I'm not a doctor. Zeno doctor, kinesiologist. That's me, kinesiologist, okay? I don't make money from those things because YouTube doesn't like it. I guess I can't make money all the time, whatever. Maybe some of you will want to hire me and I'll get money from coaching, which is what I do for a living. We're gonna bloop up a video here that you want to watch on the PCT. We're bloop one here on fat burners. You're gonna learn from them. GregDuset.com on um, Instagram. You can also follow me, Greg Duset, IFBB Pro. Click subscribe and bell and like the video and comment. And I am out.